Today I'll be playing against the maximum level stockfish, 3200 rated on chess.com, and I'm going to be playing it over and over again until I win. There's one special rule, and that's that stockfish has to spend money every time it moves a piece. It's $1 for the pawns, it's $3 for the knights and bishops, $5 for the rook, $9 for the queen, and the king is free. I'm giving Stockfish $200 to see if it can beat me. Now, of course, Stockfish doesn't know the rules, but it's a question of can I survive long enough to make Stockfish spend more than $200? Let's get started. I do have my calculator open with $200 set on it. I'm going to be subtracting as the game goes on to make sure that I can keep track and know if I actually win or not. So here we go. I'm going to play D4. Let's see what Stockfish is going to do. D5. All right. So minus $1. All right. Great. Let's play Knight of 3 and C6. Wow. Minus another dollar. Okay. This is going to this is going to be tough if he's just going to use pawns to beat me. Um I think I want to just go for something really solid like a long game. Let's let's fiend kettle the bishop over here. What's stock? Okay, bishop f5. So that's a $3 move. There we go. Feel pretty good about that. Let's go bishop g2. Knight f6. Okay. I'm going to castle. Get the king to safety. Oh, thank you, stockfish. Queen to c8. That's $9 right there, buddy. All right, he wants to come in here and trade my bishop. I don't care. That's fine. I'm just going to... If I can make this game last, I'm going to be happy. So let's see. How am I going to do this? Let's just bring my rook over and maybe I'll loop the knight around here to defend my king. Okay, use that. So Stockfish is at $180. All right. Yeah, let's let's just play super defensive here. Let's bring the knight over. Oh, pawn move. Okay, well, it's something. All right, knight to f1. With the knight on f1, black has no fun. That's the saying, right? He moved another pawn. Okay. Wow, $178 still to go. All right. Let's just keep playing some solid moves. How about c3? All right, there comes the bishop. I mean, I feel pretty good about my position right now, so I think I'm just going to play b3. Let's see, he castles. That's a free move. Okay. That's too bad. Uh, let's fiend kettle the bishop here. Seems like a good square for it. B5. That's a pawn move. On, wow, 174. Okay, we still have a ways to go. Let me just see if I can make him move that bishop back. And then I'll just go back to F1. Because I'm just trying to survive. Okay, he does move it. So that's three. Yeah, I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to go back. Okay, a pawn move. All right, I think... Hmm. Maybe I should bring this rook over to the C file. Let's do that. Uh-oh. Oh, but it's a queen move. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, minus nine. He's attacking this pawn. I mean, I can always go back. I could play a three... Then he could push. No, I think I could block it up. Um, if he takes, then my pawn would be. But I do have the rook over. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll play a3. Let's see what Stockfish is going to do. He does go for c4, which I think this is good because now I can really make the game last a while, probably with b4. All right. This is. Go oh, and another queen move. If only Stockfish knew the rules of this challenge, I would have no chance. But he doesn't know that. Or it doesn't know that. All right, let's see. What's a solid move that doesn't mess up my position? I'm doing good. Let's just keep it keep it going. Let's go queen d2. Okay, a5. That's another dollar there. If I haven't messed up, Stockfish has only used $50. And we're already on move 17. Yikes. All right, so he still has a lot of money left. Hopefully, he's going to start moving the rooks. That's my my plan anyway, because the pawns are kind of getting locked up here. It looks like I am going to need a rook over here, so let's let's bring him back over there. Getting ready. Ah, uh, okay. There's five. That's great. That's great. He's going to double up rooks. That's perfect. Uh, I'm just going to chill and and see what he's going to do. Let's go edge three. I think that's a safe move. I think he's going to bring the rook over. 
Yeah, he is. Okay, there's another five. That's good. That's good. Now, if he wants to take this and trade, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to kind of wait around here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go king h2. Okay, knight b6. So he's not trading that. I was expecting this. He wants to go there. Okay, that's fine. I think... I'm just going to go back. I mean, or I'll just go here to h h1. I like my position, so I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, knight to a4, minus 3. He's got $134. He wants to take this, I guess, which is weird to me. Why is he taking my bad bishop? I don't care. Unless he's planning something else. Let's see. Takes, takes. Uh, could he be planning to triple up and then trade everything? Well, we can deal with that if that happens. Let's go back to h2. I'm going to just wait around. He is taking that bishop. That's amazing. Why would he do that? That's so weird to me. That's so weird. All right. Well, I'm going to take it. Thank you, Stockfish. I don't get... Oh, he's... Okay, he is going for the trip, but can I just move away now? Yeah, I can just move away. And that's oh, that was a queen move. I almost forgot to subtract that. Nine. That was a queen move, my friend. So here's the thing. I can't just leave it or I lose. But if I just move this away, what's he going to do? You know? What is he going to do? Oh, he's trying to trap my queen, maybe. All right, so I got to go here to give my queen a place to run to. All right, let's go here. All right, so he uses a dollar there. We'll take it back. Now he's going to have to use some, some serious cash to infiltrate here. He brings the bishop back. Okay. Um. All right, I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm going to make him come in with those pieces. So I'm just going to kind of chill over here. Let's go queen to d2. I could probably sit my queen right here. Ooh, that was a bad move. Wow. Because the knight? Okay. He's got $115 left, guys. That's a lot. That is still a lot. All right. We got to survive a lot longer. Why is it such a good position for him, though? I don't get it. What What am I missing? Well, I'm going to go here to try to defend. Okay, the rook comes in. That's five. So I can still defend this. So let me do that with my rook. Oh, that's the... Oh, boy. $107, and I'm already falling apart. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right. I missed that. Because now this is falling, and then these guys are going. All right. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. Oh, let's... I don't know. Let's... Let's play 95. I'm not sure. Okay. He takes that. If I take this, that's only a $1 move. That's like nothing. Oh, I could go here, though, and make him move the queen. That seems like a good a good move. Because that's going to spend some of his money. Let's do it. Perfect. There we go. So that's... That puts him at $95. Okay. Can I do that again? Can I make him move the queen again? I mean, if I leave the knight there... Ooh. Alternatively, I can go like this. That's going to force the rook to come over here. It's probably not worth it. I think I'd rather him waste to move with the queen. All right. So let's leave that. We'll actually just leave that. And... Let me think. He's attacking this. I should probably save that. So let's go here. And if he wants to take my knight, he can take my knight. No. Okay, he's going for the bishop. So Stockfish is at $92. He's attacking my queen and my rook. Normally, I would save the queen. I'm tempted to let him take it because it uses $5, though. Whereas the bishop only uses three. So like I could save the rook and then I lose this. Or I try to save the queen. Now maybe the queen is going to defend nicer. Let's let's save the queen. So we'll go queen f4. <coughs> He's going to take this. Yep. I'll take it with my rook. So that was three. So Stockfish is at $89. I think he's going to move the queen. Perfect. Minus nine. So he's at $80. So if I can get him to move the queen a few more times, we can do this. We can do this. Because um, my king is still feeling like checkmate is a ways off. He's going to have to like push all these pawns and, and then stuff. I could play f3, make him move the knight. It's something. Just seems, I don't know if I, if I like that. Let's go knight 
Let's go 93. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And he's going to take me. It's going to be another $9. Stockfish is about to lose this game. All right. I'm going to let him do it. Like, I'm going to let him do it. I'm going to reposition my king over here so this is defended. And he can trade queens all day if he wants. Take it, dude. Take it. Yes. That's another nine. Okay, he's at $62. He's at $62. But now he doesn't have a queen, so he does have the rook. That's five. So he's at $57. I don't really want to activate his other rook. I think I would rather just go here. Although then he starts pushing the pawns. Yeah, this is probably still better. All right, we're going to go here and make him take us. That's going to be another five. Okay, he's at $52. We're going to take this with... Ooh, yeah, probably the bishop gives my king more places to run. Is he going to bring the rook in? No, he's going to push the pawn. That's what I was afraid of. All right, $51. But once he gets the queen, he's going to have to use a bunch to move that. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can slow him down a little bit here. Let's play f5. Hopefully get a bishop move. Perfect. $48. Can we do it, guys? Can we do it? Okay, 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 okay. Let's think. If I take this, it only but is only $1. It's probably not worth it. How do I survive longer? I could go here. He's probably going to trade it. That's another $3. It's not a lot. Or do I need to keep that knight to try to survive longer and make him use the rook? I actually don't know. I actually don't. Or maybe I could play f3 just to make him move the knight. Would he even move the knight? Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, perfect. $45. We made him move the knight. And let me bring my king up here, I guess. Okay, $1. Those pawn moves. Oof. $44, guys? I'm worried. I'm worried now. Okay, um, let's. I think my king needs to run over here, probably. Okay, another dollar, forty-three dollars. This is not looking good. Let's try to create some space for my king, because <clears throat> I'm gonna need it. All right, he's gonna get the queen, which is fine, but then he has to move the queen, which is what I'm counting on. You know, buying me enough time. So let's play h5. He's going to do one more pawn move. Okay, so he's got the queen. He has mate in nine. He's, he has mate in nine, but that's going to start probably with a queen move over here, right? To put me in check, I assume, is the mate in nine. I could play bishop g2. He checks me. I, I go over here. The, the rook might come down. He's going to try to check me here. I run here. Yeah, it looks like I could survive a little. Let's go bishop g2. Oh, mate in seven. Okay, queen move. $32. I don't know if I'm going to make it. All right, it's mate in six. But is it mate in six if I run this way or if I run this way? That's the question. So if I go here, he's got check, but I could block or I could even run this way. Now, running that way looks terrible because the knight comes back and I'm done for. But I could block... And maybe I'm surviving longer that way. And what if I go this way? He probably brings the rook down. He's going to come over here. Oh, no. He's going to try to do this. If I go here, he's going to do this, I bet. Ah, but no. Hold on. The rook comes down. Then the knight comes in. I'm still surviving. He's got $32. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Am I missing something obvious? Is there like a, a trick to get mated really fast if I go here? Or here? He could bring the rook down right away, actually. I could still block, though. I could still block with the knight. Check. Or I run this way. He, what if he plays f6? I still have the knight. I don't know, guys. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Um, I'm going to go f4. It looks like I have different ways to escape, so I'm going to try it. Maiden 5. Yes. All right. Cool. Cool. And he has to use a queen. $23. $23. Okay. All right. Mate in... F oh, did it change from five to four? Really? Well, we can block or we can move here. Now, if we move here, what's he going to do? Because I'm threatening the knight. 
So he kind of has to deal with that. He can throw in a check, but then I have F4. Still threatening the knight. So he's probably got to move the knight. Or this way, what's he going to do? I don't know. He can go check. I go back. That doesn't seem to help him. He can play F6. He can play G5. I take this. I don't know what he's going to do. I, this looks pretty good. This looks... He might. Oh, he might just take it, actually. Then I take him. And he goes check. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's do it. Okay, perfect. That was $3. He has $20. Oh, it's mating three. How is it mating three, though? I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Man, all right. <clears throat> Where's the checkmate? That's the first thing we have to, to identify. Mating three. That's one thing. This is one thing. This is one, but then this square. So he's got to keep that covered. So how does he checkmate me? That's what I'm wondering. How is he mating me in three moves? Let's say he pushes and gets a queen. Oh, and then he takes this. Is that it? One, two, three. Is that the checkmate? So let's say that's true. That's nine, 10, 11. Oh, he's going to have enough. He's going to have enough. He has $20. So I have to make him use the queen somehow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I go here, he goes there. I go here. If he does that, I could take that. So E3 might actually buy me some time. Where's the mate in three? I have no idea. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know. And hope that it's something I'm... Bishop takes G4. Okay, so that was $3. He's at $17. So I have to make him make two queen moves. Two queen moves. And we got it. Is the checkmate with two queen moves? Uh, If I take it, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Check. No. Check. I have on passant. Is it a rook move? No. What's the checkmate? Am I crazy? Hold on. Here. Dun, dun, dun. I have to go here. No. Where's the mate in two? I don't see it. I. Oh, is it here? One. Oh, one, two. That's it. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's this and this. I think that's, I think we got it. I think we got it because he doesn't have, he doesn't have enough money for two queen moves. <laughs> Stockfish, you're going to run out of money. Stockfish only has $8 and he has to make a $9 move with queen to H2, but he can't do it because he's broke. Minus $1. We just beat Stockfish. Even though it says I got checkmated, we won with exactly, or by exactly $1. That's incredible. Minus nine would put Stockfish at negative $1. Yes. Yes. That's what it feels like to beat Stockfish on the maximum level. How many moves was that? 50 moves. I survived 50 moves against Stockfish. <laughs> that was really close. I didn't even, I had no idea that $200 was going to be the perfect amount. That was hmm, so much fun. All right, cool. I might have to do this again, but tweak the rules a little bit because that was very exciting. I did enjoy that. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think and I will see you next time. Stay sharp, play smart, take care.